Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. I'm just adjusting my camera. I just have to adjust it very slightly. There we go. Hi. Um, yeah, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this super cute storage box for your 6x6 DSP. Um, ignore that, I did this one wrong and I really couldn't be bothered to make any more. Um, but yeah, so I've made some storage for our 6x6 DSP. Now I had a quick look through our lovely shiny new catalogue and there are actually 10 packs of 6x6 DSP. Um, as you may or may not be aware, last year we didn't have the Colour Families DSP. The year before that we had 12x12. 12 12. Um, we've now got them back but they are 6x6 6 6, so this is a Suttles one, hence it's saying Suttles here. Um, and they are beautiful. Um, they're all the same patterns but obviously they coordinate with our new Colour Families. Um, then we also have our In Colours two new ink colours and then on top of all of that if I can just pull my pile over we've got the tropical escape which is the um, tropical one her <laughs> palm leaves and those sorts of things there's that one there's our graceful glass vellum there's our lovely wood textures there's our garden impressions and then this is the bride so there's 10 in total um, and I don't know about you but if I leave stuff in a pile like that I'm going to forget I've got them or I'm not going to use them all or I'm going to forget what comes with which suite and just end up not bothering um, and I thought these will sit nicely on my desk and with these cute little tabs at the top as well here it will remind me of which ones I've got and what I can use. Um, they are in individual little boxes so as you can see you can take out the subtles um, and then if you wanted to you could keep your extra little cutoffs in there so you could take them out of the cellophane depends on how you are with that um, pop them in and then they're easy enough just to run through um, or you could leave them in the cellophane but they all sit in this cute little box which is the Share What You Love DSP um, and as I say, there's five of them and they sit nicely in there. And what I thought was genius when I did this, and it was pure chance that it happened like this, I, I chose chose this suite and I thought, yeah, because there's some nice colours in there. So I thought, yeah, all of these colours are in the suite. And then I realised that Tranquil Tide is from the 2017-2019 in colours. Grapefruit Grove is from this year's. Then we have crumb cake which is neutrals, rich razzleberry which is regals and then mint macaron which is subtles and I thought I couldn't have done that any better. Sadly it's not going to work the same for my new one but never mind. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to make them. So there are some measurements, don't panic if you don't catch them all, they are on my blog. So what you need is a sheet of cardstock that is six by sorry six and three quarters by six and three quarters of an inch and that's 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters and you simply need to score this at half an inch on two sides and that's one centimeter so just down one side here rotate once and score again and that's it that's your and I the I will refer to these as left and right and if I just pull in one of my boxes that I've made for this one if you look at it with this sloping towards you this is the left side and this is the right side it's the only way that I could sort of work, work out what needs to go where so this is my left side so I'm going to put that to my left so I don't get them mixed up so this is the right side and this one is seven and three quarters by six and three quarters uh, which is 19.5 by 17 centimeters with your shorter side across the top so six and three quarters or 17 centimeters you need to score again at half an inch or one centimeter we're then going to rotate it the opposite way so that your score line is across the bottom and then we're going to score at half an inch, one inch, and seven and a quarter. And so in centimetres, that's one centimetre, two centimetres, and 18.5. Okay. 
and that's the scoring part done and yes you've guessed it so this is my right side that I'm just going to fold and burnish I'm so glad that I decided to make this because like I said there was just so much DSP and I thought I can't I, I don't have anywhere suitable to store it that I'm going to remember it but I thought if I do it like this it will be perfect so left hand side piece if you think of your score lines as an L that's the only way I can get you to think which is left and right so the L is the left piece and we're simply just going to cut this corner into a little tab so cut those wedges and cut a little tab okay then we need a pencil and a ruler and we're going to mark three inches from the right hand side in and that is eight centimeters and then the same down this side so three so that gives us our marks and then you can either, depending on how you feel, you can either get your pencil and ruler and draw a line and cut it or you can use your trimmer and the only way I did this was to line my pencil marks up in my grooves, make sure when it comes back down that they're still in the grooves and just cut it and that's your left hand one done. So again, left to the left. It's the only way you're gonna remember this. So our right hand side, now we obviously have two score lines to the left and one to the right. For your right hand corner, we're just gonna cut this square away completely. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then on this side, we're going to cut up both of the small squares we're going to cut away the first one and then cut little wedges into the second one. Okay, so now we need to mark this one. So we need to actually mark the left hand side of this one. Now, have your two lines facing you. Remember to mark the three inch mark or the eight centimetres and you want it on this furthest crease line and then we'll do the same up the top here marking it from this crease line here just mark to there now we need to cut away this section here again you can use your trimmer or you can use your scissors just to cut that line there it just helps and then same again in with your trimmer, line up your pencil marks and then when you cut this one you can go so far and then if you go gentle you'll hear it catch where it's already cut and if you're very gentle and pull you can feel it. Now it might leave a little bit of an uneven edge, just give that a little trim. So, right hand side, left hand side, and if you're still not sure, put them together and check that you've got the right shape. So, left piece now, flip her over, and we're going to add a strip of tear and tape down the bottom piece here. So, run some tear and tape down the bottom there it'll just excuse my sniffles I've got dreaded hay fever and it just seems to be flaring up again right now so tear and tape on the bottom on the right hand side with the front facing you obviously that I would class as the inside my dog's just knocked my clock over that's the inside of your box so on the front I'm still using my fuse I'm afraid. You can use tear and tape, it's just the same. Run a strip down there, just get rid of that because I don't want it sticking everywhere, and a strip to the first part here. And then you just simply pop this onto the score line 
make sure that that top and bottom are lined up and join it up and then if you fold this piece in fold it at this score line here that will line up perfectly and there's your box now I'm going to apologize just for a second I'm going to have to blow my nose I do apologize I have had a hay fever tablet this morning doesn't seem to help just lately <laughs> but then I have just been and fetched the washing in so that might be why okay so now we've got our bottom piece to do so if we took these little side tabs in and then the right piece goes in first so you're left with your tear and tape strip and then you just simply take the backing off and then when you put this together rest this bit on your desk and then just ensure that your box is square because it doesn't have a habit to move and then stick that down and I do apologise okay so once you've done that you then need to make four more so you need to have five in total okay and obviously these delightful DSPs so let's have a look let's put some tropical escape in mint macaron um, I think the vellum in rich razzleberry well wood textures has to go in crumb cake doesn't it and are we working this quite rightly I think so uh, I've not remembered all the names, I do apologise. Garden Impressions in Tranquil Tide and my brights can go in Grapefruit Grave. So there's my papers, again, all packed, ready. So I just need to make up my base. So to make up my base, I have some old olive. Um, and this is five and three quarters by nine and three eighths, which is four and a half centimetres by 24 and then I'm simply going to score this at one and a half inches on all four sides and that is four centimetres so just make sure you've scored on all four sides that's that bit move that out of the way back in with our burn folder and then we're just going to fold and burnish these when I first made this one I only did an inch high and I didn't feel it was high enough you could even make it a bit higher if you wanted to it's entirely your choice so once I folded and burnished all of my score lines I want to cut my tabs now I've chosen to do the front of the box let me just bring my other one back in so I chose to put the um, joins at the front and the back of the box because that's where I had a fraction more space um, you can do them either or really it doesn't really matter greatly um, I just chose to do mine this way and then just the four corners we're just going to cut into our tabs so cut those wedges out I am getting down this tear and tape. I think I may have two refills left. Um, I've been trying to use it up because obviously you guys can't buy it anymore and it seems a little bit silly, but um, I may as well use it while I have it. That's the other theory to that. So I've cut my wedges. I now need my DSP to stick on. So I have these two long strips which are one and a quarter inch by six and one eighth of an inch which is three centimetres by six and a half and if you've got a pattern like mine make sure you put it on the right way so that when your box is made up it's not upside down and I just find that easy by knowing that that's going to be the top of my box there. So I'll just pop these two on. I love this DSP. Even the non-pearlized ones, I just think they're so pretty. Um, and then you need two smaller ones, which again are one and a quarter by two and a half inches, and that's three by fifteen and a half centimeters. Oh, 
Oops. Oh my goodness. I'll just spin this around, pop this one on. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same. Add some fuse to my tabs. Just spin this one around. Oh, come on. Oh, lovely, lovely, gunky, gunky. And then we just simply, let's get rid of that nasty bit first, make up our boxes, or our side, should I say. These do overlap ever so slightly on the inside, but again, it's not a big problem. And then our moment of truth, slide our boxes in. And there I have my DSP. Now I have got my bits here for doing some tabs. So three quarters of an inch circle punch. So I just need five of those. Two, three, four, five. So that's the three quarter of an inch. And then I have one piece of every bit of colour for the tab, the circle tab punch. I think that's the right way round. So I'm just going to do one of each colour. And obviously you could either do them all the same colour or you can do a mixture of colours and do whichever you like. And then all I need to do now is, there's my snail. So I'm just going to stick my, oops circle onto my circle tab and obviously again dependent on where you're putting yours you might want to put the white circle on each side um, so that you can perhaps see it from both sides of the box um, mine won't be so I know I only need to have mine on one side although I still really have to try and figure out where it's going to go but I will put it somewhere where I will see it and use it because it's beautiful. Right, so that's all of those made up. And then pen, I've got my pen. So let's double check. So I've got, in my grapefruit grove, I've got my brides. Um, oh heavens, garden impressions. I'm gonna struggle to put that on there. Garden. <laughs> I think that'll do. And then crumb cake, I have wood textures. I mean, you could stamp these or do them any other way. It's um, entirely your choice. Then we have graceful. And luckily, this is just for my craft room, so nobody else is going to see it, so it doesn't matter. And then we have... I've got a memory like a fish as well. Tropical escape. Okay, and then let's give those a minute for the ink to dry. So on my brights, I'm just going to run some fuse down the full centre of that one. And then just simply line this one up at the very front. And there. So the next one is the garden imps. <laughs> That will make you remember this DSP now. You'll just think, oh yeah, that's garden imps. <laughs> You'll remember it. So, pop this on here, just slightly to the side. I will show you them in a minute when I finish them all. Wood textures. Oh, sticky, sticky. Wood textures slightly off. Graceful glass. And these hold a full pack as well, and there's room for more. So if you do, like me, get through a certain one quicker than anything else, you've got the space in the box to add, add a little extra if it's, if it's needed. Stick that on, and there we have it. So that's actually slightly better than my first one. I'm going to have to hold them at an angle so you can see them. But look at those beauties. They're going to look so pretty now on my desk. Um, and I, I don't know which way around I'm going to put them. I might, uh, no I can't. Oh, I can move them. What? Who says I can't? It's my craft room. There. So if I do it that way, 
I now have all of my beautiful families together in colours and then sweet DSPs there. And like I said, you can take them out. Um, it would probably be better if you took them out because you're not going to have all this mess. But it's entirely up to you. Like I said, it's your craft room as this is mine and you can do them however you like. Um, but all the information is on my blog. There's just a little drop down black arrow for the description. Um, that has got all the details for my blog um, and a link to the stop shop as well. Um, and if you click on the link to my blog, it will take you directly to the page that will have all the measurements and all the information you need to make these projects. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can make yours. And if you do, send me some pictures. I love to see them. Um, it's so, so honouring to know that people are actually following my videos and making the stuff that I've made. Um, so yeah, send me some pictures. I'd love to see them. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. See you again soon. Bye.